What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and today we are playing Body Cam. I got to play this in a closed play test, and this is probably one of the most beautiful looking games and realistic looking games I have ever played, but do not get this confused with the other game that took the world by storm and how everyone thought it was real called Unrecorded. This is not the same game. Body Cam kind of came out riding the coattails of that freak out of everybody getting to see the first footage. This is made by two people, and I have I missed the first playtest, and I decided to jump in the second one, and boy, was it an eye-opening experience. But before we get into that, I would like to thank today's video sponsor, Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're thinking of becoming a gunsmith, you owe it to yourself and to your future clients to get trusted training. SDI is distance education accredited and nationally recognized, and online course topics include gunsmithing, ballistics, and more. Advance your career now. Visit sdi.edu today. Now, I would like to preface this starting saying that Body Cam has some amazing graphics, amazing lighting. You're basically playing the game as through the eyes of a body cam strapped to somebody's chest. The way it looks, it looks realistic. It, the graphics are amazing. Some of the sound is actually really awesome. And I, like, I looked at this and I was like, wow, this is cool. You get that initial exciting factor. Like, this looks cool. The graphics look amazing. I watched a few people play it before I even downloaded it. And it looked great. But this is kind of a one-trick pony niche kind of thing. I hate saying it that way. Um, the gameplay is atrociously terrible. Um, I understand this is made by two people. I, I totally get it. The UI, how you join a server, how you find a server... How you start a match was horrible. Horrible. It took me forever to figure out how to finally get into matches. Because there's really... They hide it through these weird little things. And then you have to, like, jump out of the back of a plane where you don't even parachute. You just fall frantically to get into a match. Which was the weirdest stuff ever. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm going to play it. I think all of you are going to play it. Because this game is gorgeous looking. The graphics are amazing. The... The style of FPS shooter is something new and exciting. I mean, we all got really hyped over Unrecorded. This is kind of in the same area with that. And it looks, the, the looks of the game look amazing. And we're all going to play it, but you're not going to play it for long. And here's why. Um, the movement and gunplay in this game and the way you control your character is atrociously bad. I felt like I was playing a character controlled by a marionette. You know, a marionette, a little doll that you move with the strings and stuff. You, trying to aim at a target is horrible. It feels like I have, like, pool noodles for arms as I'm trying to swing them around and somehow get the gun on target because the camera's, like, kind of on your chest, but you can somehow ADS, and then you start shooting full auto, and you completely lose the sight picture. Not to mention some of the guns didn't even have iron sights on them or, or red dots. It was just, like, luck of the draw as to what you even got. And then some of the darking the areas in the map that were super dark, somehow people could see through them without flashlights. Somehow I couldn't see through them. And it was just this weird little amalgamation of, like, great graphics, horrible gunplay, like, atrociously bad gunplay. And somehow I kept playing it because the graphics were good. But that only lasts for so long. It only lasts for so long. And during this test, it seemed like, you know, I tried to join the lowest ping server ever. And... It seems like it's hosted by by players, player-hosted stuff. Some of these servers, guys aren't even looking at me, and I come up behind them, and then I see them start to turn, and I immediately die, because they made the full turn and killed me. Well, I'm trying to bring my noodle arms up with my gun, and somehow... You know you know what it, the gunplay reminded me of? Jurassic Park Trespasser. If you ever played Jurassic Park Trespasser, where each mouse button controlled your hand and arm, trying to aim like that, that's what the gunplay felt like. It was so hard to even get your gun on target and that's like that's 90 percent of the game is like the gunplay but it was so bad like the visuals and stuff don't make up for the gunplay at all like it's it's one of those games you're gonna play for a little while and you're gonna put down because it's a, you're gonna get frustrated with this gunplay and then you know the servers the playing the player the matching and stuff and some of the matches we got into like the woods one I ran around for a little while. We all kind of just couldn't find each other, and we all ended up rage quitting because the map was so big, and we had nowhere to go, no idea how to find each other, so we all just kind of quit out of the match. Then on top of the already, like, oh, this is kind of terrible, I joined a deathmatch match, which I, I always know to stay away from deathmatches just because I figured, hey, it's more people to shoot at. Every time I died, I literally spawned right next to somebody else, and they immediately shot me. 
and it was just over and over and over again. I get that it's a playtest, I totally do. But the push for this one, this already has an announced release date, and I, I understand why they're pushing it because Unrecorded is coming out, and you're trying to get, you're trying to catch that hype, you know, that lightning in a bottle first kind of thing. I, I totally get it. But this one, I just don't understand how it's going to continue. And this was kind of like we made when we made a video about Unrecorded. Yeah, this, you know, this body cam kind of looking games are great, and the way the guns move kind of look funky. And I was always wondering. Like, how are they going to make that work? How do you make the gunplay work with this body cam type thing where you make it realistic gun movement, try to bring it into a game? And I'm going to tell you, in body cam, it doesn't work. Like, I don't know... I don't know what that is. It's not realistic. Like, your gun shouldn't be swiveling around like, you know, a pool noodle and things like that. It should be in your shoulder, and it's just... It's like holding a broom straight out in front of you. It's not swinging all over the place, but for some reason... Your gun is all over the place. It's doing these unnatural, like, contorted twists every time you bring them up to ADS. And the gunplay doesn't work. Like, there's no real... I don't I don't understand how that's the gunplay we get from this. And how, like... I don't know. I just can't get behind the gunplay. It's just one of those things where I'm just like... You know, the graphics are amazing. The, the kind of style it is now. This new body cam style. It all started with mods. People getting really into that then unrecorded posted some footage and then now we have body cam trying to capture that lightning in the bottle and it looks great sure but the way it plays out it just doesn't work for me i'm sure many of you don't share the same opinion uh, i know quite a few people put out videos and you know we're playing it saying like oh this is amazing and you know yeah the graphics are amazing the way it looks is amazing i just can't get behind the gunplay and that's my biggest issue and this is kind of like it goes to the point where we always have ebbs and flows. It always comes with content and gaming. Um, gaming's been pretty dead lately. We don't have a lot of people trying new things. We don't have a lot of people putting out new games or attempting new kinds of games. And this is something different, and we were all excited for Unrecorded. And sure, yeah, body cam's kind of trying to get beat them first, which I get. I totally get that. It's, you know, business 101. Don't, you know... Don't delay something when your competitor is, you know, <laughs> do do the do it first, be the first. And I totally get it, but at the same time, I think, you know, once the everybody gets into the game more, plays it more, it'll kind of be seen for what it is. It, it's a great idea for execution. And this kind of comes down to the fact that it is new, it's something different, it's something exciting, and we're kind of in this lull of gaming where we kind of get the same old reruns of everything else. We don't really get anything pushing the boundaries anymore. And this is kind of a different thing, pushing the boundaries. Um, I kind of wish they kind of would sit and chill a little more, but I, I know why they're not. I under, I totally understand why they're not. Coming from the gaming side, I, I know why they're not waiting. Um, but I wish we kind of got a real good rework of the aiming system. But at the same time, this gives Unrecorded plenty of time to see how they do things and the general thoughts and concerns from the community and then work on it from their side. So I'm kind of like, yeah, I'll play a little bit of body cam, but now I really think Unrecorded is going to be something special. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think body cam's aiming system is good, or do you think it's kind of poo-poo? All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace.